are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. Taking it about the one. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work the run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But if they run it more effectively, they may get even bigger plays in the passing game. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 36. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A give to Henry. 109 yards rushing for him now in the ball game as he is trying to will his guys to the championship round next weekend. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Again, it's Henry. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Ten yards, and it's good for a Viking first down. Derrick Henry. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Now a handoff to Chandler. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And he'll get this awfully close to a first down. Boy, that's going to be a razor-thin measurement, but I don't think he got there. A gain of seven might change the thought process here as they have some options on fourth and goal. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They go for it on fourth and goal, but then lines up incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Panthers defense able to deliver the goal line stand. And he'll get him a little space here up to the five yard line. Call it a gain of four on first and that'll make it second down. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And they'll get him down up past the 15. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down.
And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. As diverse as the running game has become in the NFL, there's still a place for the fullback position. And on that play, he gained nice yardage. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. That's taken on the 25. A nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Off the bootleg, Dawson. High throw, but he makes the catch. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll run with Henry. And he'll work down inside the 45. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. 137 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. A first down carry for Henry. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. The tackle there by John Johnson. Good solid gain on first down. About what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. On second down, here's Henry. And they'll get him down right around the 16. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding penalty. There's so many different assignments you could have at that position, and sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. His throw caught right around the six. Touchdown! A great play there with his second touchdown of the night. And the Vikings continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Extra point up and through, and the lead is now 24. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's polished off by a Viking score. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Now the Panthers' offense, they get set to come back onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, 
It has to start right here, right now. Yeah, and now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. The give to the fullback on the dive. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, here's Mills. Over the middle complete. It's Moore. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now a carry here for their fullback. On oh, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. I heard all the stories. I watched some of the tape of the old-school guys, the throwback guys who were the punishing runners and knocked people aside to pick up yardage. I'm so glad I was sitting here today and got to see it with my own eyes.